scoreless first half. Defense has been the name of the game. It's not often you see a matchup where... And never mind, Larry. These two teams apparently anxious to get back at it. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. On the return, this is Rashad Ross now. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. What a tug of war this game has been. A tie at the half. I remember when I was playing, my coaches always talked about the first five minutes of each half. That's where you can gain the momentum and seize an opportunity. We've got one team in position to do that right now. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Second down following the incompletion. Second down, Cousins again. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. So a ways to go here on third and ten. Hurry up, here we go. Hurry up. On third down, Cousins. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But, hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big-time play. Hey, Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And on the ground they go with a running back. Ryan Kerrigan in on the tackle. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Time running out here on the play clock. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley, and he'll get nothing out of that one. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. <laughs> Throwing on third. Gone. And it's complete to Britt. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. So he makes the grab and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. So he couldn't find his man there as it falls to the ground. Back to the air. Goff on second down. Got his man over the middle. This is quick. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. And this one is no good. He missed. 
missed it. And still nothing on the scoreboard. It remains a scoreless tie. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, and you're not going to have too many attempts shorter than that one. I don't think anyone got a finger on it. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. And what in the world? Now they're going to fake it. And it's incomplete. That, that's one of the strangest play calls you'll ever see. But they'll get it back at second down. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call it. They don't just say, oh, what? Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. A play fake to Jones. Now Cousins. He's going to float this one deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. And that play was what every defense is wary of. The big strike attempted downfield, but they were in excellent position. They didn't get fooled. And while he didn't come up with the interception, was able to bat the ball down. Here we go. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Unable to connect there the pass play when everything is in sync on defense that means everyone's communicating really well and sometimes it's nonverbal. they just know that when a receiver is in one spot this person may have him and he's in another spot the next defender may have him and they've squeezed the passing lanes down to where it's so difficult to find an open area to deliver the football they've made it tough on them all game long start the drive that is caught it's a pickup of 16 there and it'll lead to a new set of downs and a nice little pass and catch there on the corner route set up very well by the receiver with a head and shoulder fake inside before he comes back downhill to his quarterback So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Here we go now. Back to the ground, this time with Gurley. They had a pretty nifty hurdle, but couldn't do much else as he's brought down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first-level run, and it was stopped by a second-level player. Tough spot for the offense, third and eight. Here we go, here. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And still nothing on the scoreboard. It remains a scoreless tie. So it's his second miss of the game. They both hurt. This one especially so. Yeah, you've got a chance to give your guys a second-half lead, and they're counting on you to put them in front. And I tell you, there's no one more disappointed than he is that he let his guys down. They go play action here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. One man in the backfield. That's Jones. 
Back to throw now on second and ten. So they're unsuccessful there, hooking up on the pass. On third down, Cousins. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So the defense forces a three and out, but they got some help along the way. They threw it on first down, and when they were unsuccessful, it became second and long. Didn't get it again on another pass. Went third and long, and they almost had to put it in the air. They may want to rethink some strategy going forward. Now Austin. Timeout called, timeout called by the defense. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. So a defensive brain lapse there and an encroachment penalty. Sometimes when you don't watch the football and make sure that it's snapped, you're watching the offensive player, and they can influence you occasionally and look like they're getting ready to move, and the officials don't detect it. Still first down. A shotgun snap for gone. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. So back now in Los Angeles, as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four.